Hello everyone, uh, I am Dr. Sain Basu. I am a, an ophthalmologist and a cornea specialist by training. And uh, I'm also a clinician scientist, which means that in addition to seeing patients and doing surgeries, I also do a lot of research. In fact, I am the director of research across the LB Prasad Eye Institute network. In fact, in the Schemago Research Institute rankings, uh, in ophthalmology, LB Prasad Eye Institute is ranked in the top 10 globally. I'm gonna to talk to you about empowering academic excellence through open research in India and why that is relevant and important. Among the core values at LBPEI, uh, excellence is one of them. So our core values are excellence, equity, integrity, togetherness, and uh, patient first. Um, so excellence is something that is very close to our heart. And how do we define excellence in research? So um, you can think of it in two ways. One is in terms of productivity and the other is in terms of quality. So productivity would mean um, what is your research output in terms of the data, the information or the publication that you generate individually or as a group or as an institute or along with your collaborators. And the other way of looking at excellence is uh, through quality. So what is the quality of the information in addition to the numbers? Uh, and uh, there are very many ways of measuring the quality of your research. So one common way that uh, people do that is by uh, looking at your individual uh, research metrics. So as a researcher, there are many commonly uh, accepted metrics that people follow. Uh, for example, the H index and uh, your um, I10 index, you know, you, and these uh, indices are generated by different databases. For example, you know, if you register in Google Scholar, it will give you your um, research indices or and there are other organizations like Scopus or Mendeley, which also generate that. So for individually, you know, you look at uh, research quality in terms of these uh, indices and uh, also as a group. And then specifically for your research publication, um, you can look at what is the impact factor of the journal in which you're publishing. The imp impact factor usually is a, is a metric of or is a reflection of the uh, popularity reflect or the reliability or credibility of that journal how well that journal um, or articles published in that journal are cited by the research community. And so that will give you an idea and that gives basically an, uh, an idea about the quality of the research that we are doing individually or collectively. Um, so both of these are important, productivity and quality. And uh, this is where open access and open research also comes in because, um, you know, open access allows uh, your the, the, the publications or the information or the insights that you're generating to be shared and easily accept, accessible by, by everybody across the world. Uh, whoever wants to uh, read your papers or gain insights from the publications that you've had. Um, if, it, if your article is open access, then anyone can access it, anyone can download it and read it. Uh, otherwise, if it's published in the subscription model, then you need to have access to that specific journal or the database for you to be able to read uh, those articles and therefore for that information to be accessible to everybody. So it's very important that in research we have open access uh, and I'm happy that there are so many initiatives that are being taken right now for enhancing open access research uh, in India. And you know, one way of doing that is through open access publication, which means that the authors at the time of uh, publishing the article uh, pays an article processing fees so that the article is available uh, for everyone to access. I think the additional step that needs to be done is basically a greater amount of funding that needs to come in from uh, academic uh, funding organizations so that open access fees can be supported from uh, the funding that comes in from and it should particularly be from academic organizations or from the government 
um, so as to make all research open access because that would basically then remove that burden from the authors as well and then research would truly be accessible to everybody who wants to uh, read them. So I think that we are on in this direction. I think there's greater and greater emphasis, more and more emphasis on open access research and open access publishing. Many uh, researchers who are funded by grants, the grants support this, but it is not something that the coverage is very uh, exhaustive or inclusive. So this I think is where um, a little bit of work is required, a little bit more support is required, like I mentioned, from the government, from academic uh, organizations uh, to support open access research um, so that uh, neither the readers nor the authors are burdened by the cost of publishing, um, but information is uh, available and accessible uh, to all. So this, I think, is uh, what is important and what needs to happen uh, so that uh, science and research can really progress. Thank you so much.